Hey, what's up guys? David here. You're Android Junkie with AndroidSpin.com and it's time to get a little romantic and see if your device is being updated or is going to get updated. Yes, this is the e-commerce side of my personality and we're going to be looking at device updates between the dates of March 11th to the 18th. So let's go ahead and check out and see if your device is getting an update. I guess the big news of today was a list of Samsung devices that will receive Android 5.0 as well as Android 4.2.2. Yes, this list hasn't been confirmed fully, but you know, we could expect that yes, the Galaxy S3, the 4, the Note 8, the Note 2, we know those are going to get Android 5.0. No word on when these updates will be begin rolling out. I mean, obviously Android 5.0 hasn't been uh, announced quite yet, but uh, I hear Google I.O. they're going to be announcing devices that are going to be getting Android 5.0, so be on the lookout for that. And a Jelly Bean OTA update for the Droid Razor and the Droid Max. This is the official Jelly Bean update is finally rolling out. Yes, this is a pretty big update of 338 megabytes. So make sure you're on a Wi-Fi connection and make sure your battery is at least above 50%. If you haven't received your update yet, just go into your About Phone settings, check your system updates. It might be there waiting for you. And for those of you that are still on a Galaxy S2, we have a Jelly Bean update for you. This is Android 4.1.2. This is for the GTI 9100 model, and we got a few steps for you before you get it onto your device. Two different downloads, and yes, as you can see here, there are about 10 steps you have to take to get this project butter on that successor of the original Galaxy S. With this update, of course, comes Project Butter and a lot of features that you find on the Galaxy S3. So if you feel like getting some jelly bean onto your Galaxy S2, check down the links below, follow the steps. Make sure you don't turn that phone into a shiny paperweight. And it looks like T-Mobile is going to roll out an OTA update to the Galaxy Note 2, and this shall enable LTE. That is correct. Looks like the Galaxy Note 2 is going to be one of the first devices to start receiving LTE service on the T-Mobile network. Now, no word on when this OTA update is going to take place. There's only two cities, Las Vegas and Kansas City, that are running some T-Mobile LTEs. But T-Mobile is expecting to have at least 200 million of their customers on LTE by the end of the year. And finally, sometimes I mention apps that get updated. It looks like Google has updated Gmail to version 4.3. And the big features include notifications. Yes, now you can reply, archive, or delete a message right in your notification. You don't even have to open up the app. It's pretty awesome. So if you haven't updated your Gmail app, get into the Play Store, update that, and enjoy your notification features. Well, all right, guys, that's all the device updates that we had for you this week. Make sure you hit that like, thumbs up button. If you like this video, subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you have not already. Well, I am David, your Android junkie at AndroidSpin.com, and this has been Device Updates. Thank you, as always, for clicking in. I love you.